Hello friends, in this series of videos in theory of computation, in the last video we have just discussed uh, the theoretical points, you know, uh, what are productive states, what are unproductive states and understood that how to minimize a DFA. Now let's try some questions to have a better understanding. Okay friends, now in the starting I have taken a simple example. Now here you see it's a DFA and the question is to minimize it. Okay, now let's go step by step. Again, what is step number one? You try to search whether it has a dead state or not. Now you see what is the definition of a dead state? Uh, it directly says what? If you reach that state, you cannot reach final state. So you can check out one by one. Is A a dead state? No, for sure there's a part to reach final state. F is a dead state, no, there's a path to reach final state. B is can reach final state. C, it is already a final state. What about D? You see, once you reach D, you can go to E, come back from E to D, but there's no way, you know, but there is no way, you know, to reach back to what? C, once you reach D. And similarly, you can see even E, it is also a dead state. Why? Because once you reach E, you see there's no path to go back to what? This C final state. So please understand this point that it is not like our state is dead if it has a loop. You see, it's a kind of a trick. D is going to E, E is going to D, but actually both they are going nowhere. They are just looping around then and it's a trick. It means what? Both of them are dead state. Yes or no? And again, as I told, if you, we have more than one dead state, what we can do? We can just merge them together so let me just you know remove both of them and let me say okay let me call only d and having a self loop you can name it anything either only d or e whatever you want now that is step number one now step number two is there any state which is unreachable again you remember what is an unreachable state if you start from that state then you cannot uh, read uh, or uh, you say like this uh, starting from initial state you cannot reach that state you see here uh, is it f is unreachable you see it's a very easy example because uh, the the direction of edge is reverse so from a you cannot reach f then for sure it means what f is an unreachable state and if that is the case it is non-productive and it must be removed from the system so let me remove what f now in the resultant system you see there are only four state remains and all the four states out of which no one is dead uh, although d is dead but it is essential it cannot be removed and no one is unreachable at this is already removed now the question is you minimize it okay now in even in the books there are multiple methods possible i'll discuss all of them when we'll discuss a complete series of videos but now let me give you the smallest and the shortcut method which will always work fine now what uh, or how you should check whether there are equal states or not because three unproductive states could be there two we have already worked on the problem is of equal states now how to do that I'll do what you just make two groups of states one is of final states one is of non final state here there's only one final state so C will come in a group of final state and non final states will be of three that is a B and D that is how I do it. Huh? So two groups, one is of final, one is of non-final. And let me say that there exists no possible of redundancy because there's only one state. But yes, there are three states. So let us check whether all the three states are equal or not. And how we check it out, we'll check the behavior of all the three states on symbols or alphabets. How we do it? Okay. Now you see there are only two symbols use A and B. Now let's uh, see, let's see what we do. Let me check on A. Now you say, uh, two symbols we have A and B capital A on A capital A on A goes to B means what it returns to the same group you see I'm not saying it goes to B I'm saying it comes to the same group the logic is the behavior of all the three states should be same so if capital A on small A come to same group now all the remaining should do that now you see capital B on A sorry that was a now capital b on a goes to what d so it also comes to same group and you see on uh, you know a it also comes to same group so you see surprisingly so all the three states have the same behavior when it comes to a now let's check for b you see capital a on b you see capital a on small b also comes to b so same group now you see capital c capital b on b capital B on B it goes to C 
now you see there's a problem the problem is there's a different behavior and you see capital uh, D on B capital D on B uh, have a self loop so here you see for a the behavior of all the three states are same because they are coming to the same group but for b the behavior is different as you know uh, b goes to other place and a d have a kind of a same analogous behavior so that is for sure that b don't want to be in the same group now let me go for second iteration and let me do what uh, let me say C is a separate now B comes and separate but A and D you know they remains in the same group now let's try whether A and D are equal or not now it's a kind of a bottom up strategy we are solving the question in reverse fashion now you see A again capital and small a cap small a and small b will check the behavior capital a on small a will go to b that is okay and d on a will have a self loop now you see here only the violation occurs is no required to check further because you see capital a on a goes to b but d on a have a self loop so there's a violation again it means what a and d are also different state they don't want to be in the same group so conclusion will be there will be C, B, A, and D, and now you can understand that all the three, three, four states are what different. They are not equal. Hence, now I can prove, or I have proved that that is a minimal deterministic finite automata. So you understand that it is very, uh, you know, easy to work with uh, either dead state or unreachable state. It's a little tricky method to find, you know, whether two states are equal or not. And let me tell you that this method will give you answer in the short time possible because in gate the question is not only whether to solve it or not question is also to solve it in the minimum time possible huh. uh, so what we do here we make in the starting only two groups final and non-final and then we check their behavior if they are analogous then that is okay uh, means they all are equal but if that is not then just you you know split them and then repeat the procedure until all the states are separated let's try one more question which will give you a better understanding about equal states okay friends now let's try uh, two more questions and specifically I'll concentrate only on equal states because that will be or they are actually more complex logic so here you see uh, we have a DFA which have two final states and one non final state and the question is again you minimize it okay now let me do what again step number one you make two groups one of final state and one of non final states so there are two final states let me say a and B a group of final state and let me see a non-final state C okay now what we'll do again let's check the behavior on both alphabets A and B and you see it or uh, this group of non-final state have only one state so there's no uh, you know scope of minimization but here you have two so uh, that could be the case let's try whether it's split or not now you see capital A on small a capital on on a goes to B and or uh, let me don't say B let me say it return to the same group and then see B on A also returns to B so exactly same behavior similarly A uh, on B A on B goes to what C huh? now you see is it a violation actually it is not because what I want the behavior should be same so what I want if A on B goes to C then B must also follow the same behavior let's check it out B on B you see B and B also goes to C you see for both symbols here uh, these is two states A and B have analogous same behavior because on A they come to the same group on B they came to the different group but both of them are same so it means what here these two states A and B are what equal it is the shortest method to find whether two states are equal or not now once we found that two states are equal what is the case you must remove one of them either you remove a or you remove b here you know b should become victim because a is an initial state so don't touch an initial state even if you want you can also remove a then b will become an initial state but because it is already an initial state let's remove b now you see what will happen when you remove a state all the outgoing transactions will automatically be removed so once you remove b all the outgoing transitions are already removed no problem in that 
but what happened to the transition which is coming to be you see we prove that a and b are what equal so which state must take the responsibility of b a so whatever transaction coming to be now they must go to what a because a and b were brothers so now let me say it will become a self loop so you understand this thing when you find whether two states are equal do what remove one of them and all the other tra outgoing transitions will be removed automatically the transition coming to that state will go to a state to which it is being proved to be equal okay now let's try one more question so that you will have a better understanding here you will say uh, only one state is taken to be final so there will be only one state in a group of final state that will be a and three states are non-final so b c and d will be states of non-final now you see this final group is not required to be you know optimized because it already contains one but there could be a splits now let's check the behavior on both alphabets a and b now let me check uh, capital b on a you see capital b on a goes to d same group c on a goes to d same group and d on a goes to b again same group so all the three states have exactly identical behavior when it comes to alphabet a symbol a now let me check out on b capital b on b now you see it goes to a but no problem at all like in this case we have already seen if these two states c and d also show same behavior on b then that will not be a problem so let's check it out c on b now c on b also goes to a so you see no problem at all now d on a d on a goes to b now you see there's a problem b and c goes to a and d do not so it means what currently i don't know what is the actual scenario but d differs from b and c so in the uh, one more important point to be taken to be noted here is that don't assume that okay b and c are same it means no you must check in the second iteration because sometime it happens then in the next iteration even those two states also get splitted so i require one more iteration but till now i'm sure what that uh, sorry which state was that a uh, okay a was separate final and d has shown different behavior and there's a confusion whether b and c are same or not now let's check on b and c now b on a still it is approaching what d and c on a also approach what d so same behavior now b on small b b on b uh, goes to a and c on b also goes to what a so now you see it is not like you must come to the same uh, or do you must come back to the same group you go to any group but both of the states should show, show the same behavior so on a they go to d on b they go to a so exactly same behavior now i can conclude yes these two states b and c are what same if that is the case again as we have already discussed we can remove any one of them let me remove c this time so how to remove it all the outgoing transitions can be removed immediately so let me remove c and all the outgoing transitions are removed immediately okay and this transition remains which is incoming now if you are coming on c and c doesn't exist now because b and c are same so you can go to b huh? So now that will be the status now that will be the resulting minimal dfa so i think uh, that was sufficient uh, although it requires a lot of more discussions and some more complex examples but uh, to have a basic knowledge i have just discussed two or three example along with the theory in the previous video how to minimize the dfa so you understand this thing till now what we have done we have uh, done a number of practice problems of designing a DFA and then we also do what conversion of DFA into what minimal DFA huh? these were two important points and one major you know conclusion what or knowledge what we are gaining after solving all these logics for the number of uh, you know languages we have designed a DFA so now you know if you can design a DFA for a language the language is for sure to be what regular now from the next video let me start working in a new domain uh, let me work off non-deterministic finite automata ndfa or in general call them what nfas now we'll understood why we use nfa and then we understood how to convert that nfa into what dfas so that will be more smart and more complex logic now let's try that in next video okay thank you